My name is Raps and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. Okay, we played the pilot last time and... Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. You got five, four, three, two, one. We found bullet hell. Oh yeah, baby. I think I want to get the big boy here. On order. Thanks. Beautiful. And sure, we'll play a convict run. Why not? Is my favorite Pokemon. Why not is my favorite Pokemon. Sorry, I keep forgetting to finish my entire sentence. That's my bad. Oh, hey, okay. At least I know a... Oh, that was bad. At least I know a single explosive is enough to kill a red cap on this floor. That's some new information to me. Got him. Wow, they all got roasted by that. I love it. So, as the pilot, what do I have to worry about? Everything, really. Oh, hang on. Accuracy, pretty much. Uh, the fact that my starting pistol doesn't really have amazing range, so I can't really just shoot something from the other side of the screen. That said, we do fire as fast as we can click, which for us is just going to be a huge benefit. I've played enough uh, clicker games that I'm actually well-versed. I don't know if you've seen any of the stream footage from the monolith clicker stream or the cookie clicker stream that I did, uh, the streams that I did with Orbital. But I'm just real good at clicking. Enough clicker games in my time to be real baller at it. Okay, just loop around you. Whoopsie-daisy. Whoa, okay. More enemies, don't mind if I do. Hey, I really thought that was actually going to get you on that one. Alright, uh... Apparently I destroyed the water barrel. Bugger. I'll be honest, my chances of going to the oubliette just went down 98%. <clears throat> Serious, like, it's... It's really that bad. I don't want to have to push another barrel in there. You kidding me? That's going to take me like 20 seconds. I don't got that amount of time. But what I do have an amount of is money and 31 of it. And by money, of course, I mean casings, because that's this game's contrivance for a uh, legal tender. Whoa, hang on. Alright, let's only be approached from one direction, please. You know, Zane, Harry, Louie, and the boys. Oh, how many can I name? I used to be able to name them all because they were the, like, they were the teen sensation band at the time that I was working in a retail store that sold uh, figurines of them. And I, I specifically was the person constantly in charge of restocking their shelf. Uh, okay. Harry, Zane, Louie, Liam? Shit, I think there's five of them. Is there five or six? I think there's five. I think there's five. Harry, Zane, Louie, Liam, and Whitebread McGee. Did I get him? I, I'm nothing against you, by the way, if you're a particularly large fan, if you're a Directioneer or Directioner, if I think, uh, I think it's one of the two that they call themselves. I'm nothing particularly against you. I like, uh, I like some pop music from time to time. Not, not theirs, but... I mean, I'll let you in on my guilty pleasure. I'm a particularly large fan of Kesha. That's, that's my guilty pop. Everyone has some. And if you say you don't, you totally do, and your guilty pop is the worst. I can't even think of what would be the most trashy guilty pop to have. But the kind of person that says they don't have any trashy guilty pop pleasures, they have that. Shit, what would it even be? I can only think of dated stuff like George Michael. Right? Um... Yeah, you know what? I actually just don't know enough modern music. All I know is uh, tracks from the early 2000s back until the mid-70s. And that's it. I actually really like the Big Iron. I'll likely end up purchasing that. Which means I likely won't even be able to make my way into the Winchester uh, battle. Whoa. Okay, yeah, we've got to have more room. If I'm going to get 15 more dollaroos, I'm actually going to need a little bit of room to do it in. 
If we end up short by one, I'm going to actually have to blame myself for the one hit I've taken this floor. Looks like we're going to be short by a lot more than one, though. All right. Well, we're not getting any favors at the moment. We're going to have to go and do our base pistol. At the very least, if I had to base pistol kill, this is probably the person I wanted to do it as. Since we fire as fast as we can click, and we do six damage with our base pistol rather than the standard five. Plus, I have a shotgun if I really feel like it. No! Oh, okay. I was waiting for that to hit the wall before it exploded, but it hit a bush, a shrubbery, and exploded. Nope. No! That was a close one. Two times over as well. All right, come on. We've got this. We've got this. Oh, do the aerial attacks. Oh, baby. It couldn't have been better. Got him. That'll be our first master round. Danke schön. Oh, we got a gold. Damn, we're actually going to be able to buy all of our heart's desires. So, big iron. Big iron. Big iron. Alone in the world's a little bit. A little big iron. That doesn't work. All right. Step right out. Step right out. Now, the thing is, I've done this one before, and it's it's definitely the easiest, but I've also balls it up horribly before. Got him. All right. Next one. Got him. All right, next one. If I can perfect this, I'm going to be really happy with myself. Got him. Okay. Now, this one is on an angle. It's really fucked up. No, I'm not going to get that. <gasps> wow, we got them all. Woo! Claim your prize, Deadeye. Claim your prize, ain't no other man can stand up next to you. Oh, Dragonfire, now that's a good boss weapon. Now, I think after that, I can reward myself by just making way down to the next floor. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces passing homebound. And I miss you. I And now I wonder if I could fall into the sky. Do you think time would pass me by? I know that song. There we go. I knew it was in the back recesses of my mind somewhere. Because you know I'd walk a thousand miles just to be with you. Probably not the correct lyrics. Tonight. All right, let's get out of here. Before I have to try and sing a verse. I'm not doing the verse, all right? I don't know the verse. I'll be entirely upfront with you on that one. All right, I can use easily the, what's it called again? Clip gun, revolver, revolve clip gun. I can easily use this for the room clears. <clears throat> then for the boss clear, drag on fire. And as long as it's anything, oh, yeah, sh shit, dick. I'm not going to say I'm not annoyed by that, because I am. I hate these veteran shotgun kin. They're really annoying. Get off the platform. Oh, my God. Just die, all of you. I have no time for your shenanigans occurrings. Anyone that predicts my shots, actually, can die in an open fight. Uh, you know what? Fuck the rat. <clears throat> I'm not gonna reward the rat for all the shenanigans he's pulled. You should get something for having the rat steal enough items from you. 
That that's how you should unlock something. Because occasionally you don't have a choice, right? And oh, yeah, that's a bullet shark. Beautiful. I'm really happy. Come on, more bullet sharks. Thank you. They are my current quarry. My hunting challenge from Frifle. Okay, I'm not particularly enjoying this dance that we're having here, buddy. Thank you. Okay, the fact that there is a gun nut here makes me very happy and very sad. Yep. Very sad because I knew I was going to take damage to it because I can't circle strafe it, which meant that I was going to be uh, losing a bunch of money. Very happy because I had the potential for getting a bunch of money there. But I ballsed it up. So if we're 10 short of purchasing something that we really want, we're going to know why. See, at least here I have a wall that I can just duck behind. Another thing I didn't have in the previous room. Got him. Ho! Oh! Okay. That could have been real bad if that ghost decided to start firing just a little earlier. Really? How many hits do you want to take, Blue Shotgun Kinman? And that'll be good enough. Really? So it wasn't actually aiming at me. It was aiming at the barrel. So me trying to roll away from the shot that I expected to come in rolled me into his shot towards the barrel. That's, that's definitely fair. That one is, though. I balls that up badly. Got him. Whee! All right. I'm going to be so many gold short. You can see that when you flip a table, by the way, it just destroys bullets in the nearby area. Rather than only in the direction you flip it. Otherwise, I would have gotten hit there. Got him. Fuck the rat. Fuck the gungeon rat coming straight from the underground. Alright. What do we got? A little bit of this. Do we have any Monica? Because I need to put in a little bit of Monica. I only need a little bit in my life. It's okay. I don't know the rest of the song, by the way. So that one is going to be the rare instance of song where I reference it casually and then don't go any deeper and don't sing any lyrics. Come on. Got him. Alright, now we'll go back to our budget revolver. Easy, just need to find the boss, really. Boss is still the only thing I need. Nope, no boss. We're living in a no buff world. We're also living in a no hit world, good god. Excuse me, Bullet Shark. I wanted you to appear, but not like that. Never like that. Okay. Now... This one I feel justified using... Never mind. Wow, that actually comes from that chest. But that's so shitty. There's not a grade in our shop, is there? No, there's not. Okay, I guess I just let that get stolen. I like all of these offerings right now. Especially the RC rocket. The problem at the moment is we are very close to death. I almost died. <laughs> that was almost really bad. Okay. 
Now you might notice I'm using Big Iron at the moment, where I said I was going to save this for boss kills and later room clears and stuff like that. No, I'm going to use this in the moment to make sure I don't die. Fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this. Okay, we're fine. I had no clue why I doubted myself. I was obviously going to be fine there. I think I should try and get the HP before I go into the boss room, because I'm more likely to take damage in boss room than in a random encounter room. I almost finally got hit by that room trap. Okay, we have three blanks still. Let's push this forward, give ourselves... Really? I was just trying to go over the hit behind you, but constantly couldn't get it. Okay. Uh, I think, first off... Check for the secret room. Secret room could have HP. That's gonna be essential. There's a gun. Glossy is not a bad gun. Glossy is quite a good gun. But also, even if I don't get the round kill perfect, I do want to survive this boss because I've already got a pretty good run. Just on the basis of weaponry. Reload time on this is actually insane, though. Got him. Whee! Okay, that should go a decent amount of the way to bringing me back to... Oh, my God. The HP is real! Um, only other location that could really have the secret room, however, is here. Oh, well. Sadly, I had to spend all of that money, so I'm not going to be able to get the RC rocket, but... Yeah. You know what? I'm fine with it. The amount of HP we've gotten makes me fine with it. Alright. Now my room to room clear down here is going to be Big Iron. Pretty good. Keep moving, keep moving. No time to waste. Now, in this room, I just don't want to give the room time to hit me. So I'm just going balls to the wall. Balls to the wall through on this whack twat in an ascot. Trying to get myself in cover when I can. Gonna have to wait for that poison to dissipate. Alright. Come on, fire off. And that's the end of the room. Beautiful. It's interesting to be on a run where keys actually matter. Because the last run I was on, keys did not matter even slightly at any point. Thank you for the HP. Now we're back in a good position. I can feel a little bit more confident about my health position. Definitely not going to do that, but I will test these. Ah, found ya. Hey, all right. I'm real glad I found that at the moment. I was like, eh, maybe I'm going to leave myself a little bit to finish, uh, de de finish, sorry, deficient rather on the requisite flanks to kill the boss flawlessly. But first off, let's be serious. I'm not going to kill the boss flawlessly. And secondly, we ended up with more blanks anyway, so it's okay. If we could just lower the shot spread, this would be a lot better. Let's 
Or just fight fatter enemies. That works too. Definitely works. All right. Bunch more money. Open that. Oh, okay. That's, that's like a pretty bad green chest, to be entirely honest. Betray shield needs, I don't know, like two damage ops for it to actually be good. It's just not there yet. Got him. Whee! Out of here. Was I supposed to save the barrels for the second wave? Because honestly, the second wave is easier than the first one. Okay. More bullet sharks, please, video game. Yeah, sure. I hate this boss. Yeah, it's objectively a fair boss, but I fuck it up every time. And almost instantly. The funniest thing is if I'd used the Glacier, this actually would have been really easy. Because the Glacier destroys bullets. And I knew this. I knew this the whole time. And it slows down the enemy, but I didn't do it. Yep. Look how easy this could have been. Look how easy our life could have been. This is why I was happy to get the Glacier when I did. And I know it's Glacier. Don't worry. I know how to pronounce words. Hexagon Light Fantastic. Of course, a reference to the phrase Trip the Light Fantastic. Which is to dance trippingly as though on your toes. I wrote a short story by the name. Okay, so I say I wrote. I never finished it. I wrote the. the. what the story was going to be. And then I wrote like. Shit, maybe a few thousand words at most. I never finished it. So I'm not going to say I wrote the short story, okay? Let me just redact that statement before I regret it. So I wrote this short story that was named uh, Tripping the Light Fantastic, which is why I know the phrase and its origin and all that jazz, all that good stuff. Not common enough knowledge for it to just enter my sphere without something like that influencing it. Okay, wow. Oh, wow. It's three shots for killing that guy with this weapon. And here I thought this was a good weapon. Evidently, I was very incorrect. Alright. We'll refill the big iron. Next opportunity we get, we refill the dragon fire. Then probably the hexagon. That's likely pretty close to the standard order of my appreciation of those weapons. I honestly can't believe that I managed to dodge through all of those. Free secret room? I already got the secret room on this floor. Alright, uh, So, what did I get? What did I get? Uh, I got the Betrayer, so this is a passive. Honestly? Brown passive? When I'm overloaded on keys? I could do it. I could definitely do it. The two ones that I'm specifically looking for in that field would be Brown passive number one, Lichy Trigger Finger, which is the increased rate of fire. And then number two would be Scope. Which is just increased accuracy. Because I always like getting at least one accuracy bonus. Would that it were so simple, trippingly, 
Would that it twerse simple, trippingly. I haven't watched that film. Anyone watched uh, Hail Caesar by the Coen brothers? Anyone want to tell me what it was like? Because I was keen, but then I heard bad reviews. You know what? I'm, I'm going to regret it, apparently. All right. Fine, let's get out of here. There's no sail port, is there? There is not. All right. Hey, what up? Bugger. All right, let's get out of here. I've wasted enough money and time. Generate me, Dad Hollow. Beautiful. Wow! I'm so bad! For some reason, I thought, yeah, I'm gonna be able to roll out of the way. This is easy. Nope. Not even slightly. Okay, that's rude as hell. Stop dealing damage to me, game. You had your fun. Now it's your time to learn. I'm winning this run, whether you like it or not. Uh-huh, you hear? And evidently at the moment, you're a lot closer to not. You're just gonna have to learn. This run is mine. It has been ever since I got the dragon on the first floor with the Winchester. Beautiful. Space Rend! Yes, a friend from outer space. From outer space, you just walked in to find you here with that sad look upon your face. I should have changed that super lock. I should have made you leave the key. If I'd known for just one second, you'd be back to bother me. Oh, now go walk out the door. Just turn around now. You're not welcome anymore. Space Rend is welcome, however. Space Rend is going to be helping us out. Just uh, shooting at Denny's from time to time, being a cool dude about it. Got him. So there's this one, and then there's, yes, yeah, Summon Man over here. Sadly, Summon Man got his summon off, but thankfully, the summon wasn't particularly bad. Uh, nope, I guess I leave that there and wait for my shop. Gosh, that was not good at all. All right, um start to expend the ammunition on this, I guess. Because if I find a gun muncher, this is a green chest item. It's going in that gun muncher. It's going to get mad munched. Damn it! Got him! Whee! Anyone else? No, thank you. Okay, please be Red Heart Regeneration Ladies. It totally is. Now, I never want the Red Heart Regeneration Ladies. But at the moment, I'm feeling like I might need the Red Heart Regeneration Ladies. You dig? Okay, another key. Beautiful. Definitely not going to be short on keys at the moment, which is always good news to- <gasps> Galactic Medal of Valor! Courage increased, reload speed down, and if I recall correctly, courage increased, so we do 30% extra damage to bosses, reload speed is halved, and accuracy is way up as well. Let's test that out. Yep, you can even see it. 
I believe weapon spread is down by half. Will that affect... Uh, I can't even check if it's affecting. Hang on. Oh, shit! That was a red cape, man. My bad, red cape, man. I didn't know you had a red cape on. If I'd known, I wouldn't have shot you. Okay, a little bit of HP for giving up a weapon. Obviously, I'm not going to do that when I've got free HP full heal in a different room. Got him. Now, we are going to have to dragon fire you. No matter who you are, so it's fine. Hey! Oh shit. Get to my safe spot. And by safe spot, I mean safer than the rest of the map, but still not safe. Yeah. Ho! Almost. The reload speed on the dragon fire is now actually reasonable. Is this going to be my first flawless against this guy? Oh my god. Worst time. Worst time to run out of ammunition there. Oh, bugger. Woo, nice roll, Ryan. Oh, okay. Nice roll, Ryan. Oh, you, what the fuck? Oh my god. Really? I didn't get hit by the first two. Uh. <laughs> I don't appreciate that video game. I don't appreciate shenanigans like that occurring. The Proton Backpack, if I believe correctly, actually does extra damage against ghosts. This is not going to be an effective room clear in next floor, so we'll let it be an effective room clear now. Because next floor just has everything's too crowded. You need to immediately kill something. You can't kill something over the course of a few thousand years, like occurs with this. No one else. Beautiful. Okay, next is Big Iron. Big Iron. What are you? Polaris. Okay, storied. Let's read the description for this one because it is new. I unlocked it last run. A mysterious gun that grows in strength on each kill. Substantial power is lost whenever the wield is damaged. Stories are told of a rebellious android that once used this gun in a conflict deep underground. The handle is marked with two small tick marks. Let's go get our HP. I'm pretty sure that is everything. Yep. That is a poorly laid out map. We'll go get our HP. And then we'll go down to the next floor. We shouldn't have too much difficulty against the dragon. What I'm worried about is a little bit after that. What with the bullet hell and everything. We usually do want one more master round by this point. I say as though I have that much experience. But I would have appreciated one more. I definitely deserved that one against the fellow, the high priest. Uh, okay. Thankfully, I believe it doesn't lose anything while I swap away to a different weapon. I don't know how I'm gonna track what level it is. Uh, 
Like, does it have an animation for its change? Does the... Do the bullets look different? Hmm. All right, that was very close on that one. I want it. I want it all. Really? 72 versus 190? What? I want it all. And I want it now. Okay. I don't know how many rooms I'm going to have to clear. I think there's respawn of like bullet sharks right now. No? Okay, I think there's usually a respawn of bullet sharks in that room. reasonable dodge rolling enemies I'm gonna be entirely out of ammunition by the time I actually get a single level on this thankfully his reload speed is strong as fuck oh okay now it's firing too can actually finally see the difference And all it took was it literally buying twice as much as it usually does for me to tell the difference. Okay, uh, we'll quickly teleport back because we're never going to be able to afford the shock rounds. So we may as well purchase this uh, plus one to bullet as soon as we can, which is extra damage, extra reload speed, extra accuracy. Uh, I think it's like a plus one to all of your different statistics, if I recall correctly. Delayed shots trying to get me on that one. Nine Danka. Okay, we're going to have to change out for a while. Got him. Okay. Guess I'll stick with Hexagon until it's out. Excuse me? Level one. Okay, I just saw level one pop above my head, so that's got to be telling me what level my hex. Not my Hexagon, sorry. What level my thingy is now at. Polaris. Yeah, I'm not going to be buying anything for the rest of the run, sure. Ring of Miserly Protection at this point is just going to be 2 HP up. Now I feel a lot more, uh, solid, actually. Got him. All right. Uh, I'm going to refill the Polaris because I really think it's a good gun. That I'm just not giving myself the chance to use correctly. On, push your way through. Oh, my God, kill the jammed. Thank you. I'm half down on ammo, and I think I spent like 20,000 bullets on that jammed enemy.
There we go. Level two. I want to see level three. At the very least, ammunition. Oh my god. Whoo! Uh, that. You know what? I should have been hit there. I shouldn't be alive. I'll own up to that. Oh, whoa! You know what? It's actually the right decision as well. Oh, baby. So maybe I use this as like in the room with the boss? Maybe I use it in the room where it happens? Hmm. Maybe. Or maybe I switch to the dragon fire because I understand what's good for me. Man, it didn't do this attack the last time I faced it. So I've gotten complacent and I haven't had to deal with this attack at all. That would have got me. That would have definitely got me. That would have got me as well. Oh, man. Okay. I need to be really careful and make sure that I get the boss down before the boss spawns any of those cheeky little knives. Because those cheeky little knives actually would have done me some serious harm. Yep. That's, uh, that's how flawless going as well. I almost got him in one! That would have been awesome! That's unfortunately our Flawless gone, and our Polaris de-leveled. Yeah. That might have been a bit of a greedy roll. But, really, we weren't in a good position for the first roll anyway. First set of them, at least. So it looks like around 40 minutes we can get our dragon kill. And it's past that that we are looking for how well we can go into bullet hell. I think if I just went straight to the lich somehow in bullet hell, I might actually have a better shot than... than of clearing the floor without having to fight the boss. Because the floor is the real killer here for me. Alright. Um, I do want to use the Polaris, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. How many rooms am I going to be able to afford to use the Polaris? I also want to know, is the Polaris per room? Or is it per enemy? The difference is actually immense. Because if it's per room, why don't I just pull it out at the end of the room? Clear the room with everything else and then have one enemy left and then just Polaris them down. And if it's per enemy, why don't I just pull it out when I'm up against enemies with really low HP totals? Okay, and go. Okay, so it's definitely not per room. Because if it was, it wouldn't have leveled up after just killing that enemy. So does it give you more power if you... Or more experience towards its level up if you kill a more potent enemy? 
because it did level up after killing the shell again. So... The fact that there are enemies that are just like the same color as the ground here is very, very disconcerting. Okay. Thankfully, since we're level two now, whoa. Oh gosh, really? I have to look at three different parts of the screen at all times. What? Okay, it still fires after the room is cleared. That's bollocks. That's bollocks. No, I probably can't afford to rebuild that weapon. Oh, gosh. By the time I get that weapon back to a good attack damage... Wow, two hits of damage. By the time I get it back to good damage, it will be out of ammo. Okay, that was difficult. I don't know if you saw what that shot grub guy was doing, but that was insane. Bullets everywhere. Excuse me? Alright. Everything is going horribly wrong. I don't want to sound like I'm overstating things, but everything is horribly wrong, and it's everyone's fault but mine. Good lord. I don't know where I'm going to get my healing from, but if I had some, we'd be in so much of a better position right now. I guess at this point, I'm assuming that the dragon fire is going to be my only boss weapon. So I don't know where I think I'm going to get the damage for the rest of the boss from. Okay, keep going. I mean, I said this wasn't... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I said this wasn't going to be an effective room clear at this point. It really isn't. Oh, is this... Did we find the boss already? No. Okay, that room was absolute bollocks. I'm glad it was really quickly done. Hang on. And now you. Beautiful. Thank you for the HP. But uh, yeah, we did a big loop right there. Damn it.
Just got to make sure the Pupulon's dead. So that I can actually clear out the map. Wow, I actually could not see the bottom of this wall. I thought the wall ended up here, but nope. That's still wall. It's very, very undifferentiated from the ground. Or rather, very poorly differentiated from the ground. Okay, okay, where is our next weapon? Fuck. We're running out of weapons and ammunition. I think that's gonna be my big downfall against the boss. I'm just gonna run out of ammunition on any weapon that can really fight him. Or rather, that's gonna be one of our big downfalls against the boss. even feel. I think it actually might be the Big Iron. I think Big Iron, Dragonfire, and Glacier are going to be my boss weapons. Damn it! Come on, man! I was so close to completing that room well! Damn it! You know what? I'm going to consider only one damage taken in that room to be good. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, we're, we're fucked. Got burned by the game on this one. This is a dead end. Definitely good experience for me in the future to know a little bit more about these hell enemies. The kinds of things I can expect to encounter in here. Yeah, sure, I'll refill this actually. But wow. If I can get to level 2 with the Polaris, we might actually be... Yep, we're on level 2. Okay, we have a potent room clear on our hands. But not only that, it's a potent room clear that can't really be used as a boss clear. So I even have good justification for its usage. God damn it, stop giving me all these goddamn dead ends! Is this how this map gets you? So at level 3, this weapon actually just becomes the Jolter. Look at its bullets, it is the Jolter. Beautiful. Stay away from me. Anyone else? Woo! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm seeing... I'm picking on which one down. I'm gonna use the Polaris until we run out of... Uh, sorry, until we get hit. Don't worry, I'm aware this guy is a three-stage fight. not about to get super happy like oh my god i actually did it oh it goes down one level each time you get hit okay 
Right, I ballsed up the entire stage there. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Oh, we did it! Oh, we won the game! Yeah, I got a minute of a wow, it's so cool! Oh, let me just stand here for a second, this is gonna be real cinematic. Oh man, I can't wait. Wait, there's no spawn? We couldn't leave? What's that? Alright. Oh, come on! Wow! Alright, I'm dead. I'm dead already. Yep. Okay, I actually straight up do not know any of his patterns yet. But you know what? I'm okay with it. It was a good fight up until then. Uh, not really. We had some really good stuff that run. We had Space Friend. We had the Plus One Bullets. We had the Heart of Ice. We had the Galactic Medal of Valor. We had some really good guns. Honestly, I mean, that, that would have been a successful run by my previous standards. I beat the dragon. Yay, I did it, right? We only need to beat the Lich once. To be fair, this is true. We only need to beat the Lich once. I think I might start focusing on unlocking other characters and beating the, uh, the dragon with them in order to unlock more things. That said, for the moment, let me just say my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Into the Gungeon. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.